Okay, we just arrived in Bato in Leyte, Philippines, and we heard that this particular city has some delicious, delicious barbecue. It's been a rainy day, so those tarps are up. You can see the smoke billowing from underneath the tarps from these grills that are set up to grill the selection of kebabs. Now listen, Filipino street food is not something everybody sees and looks like they're going to enjoy, but while intestines and gizzards and liver might not look appetizing, I guarantee you that a lot of it is pretty good if you just get by what you're looking at. Isao, for example, I've had before. Chicken intestines might not sound good, but trust me, it's really good. We've got the fighter boys with us. We're going to select some of these dishes to try. See if the, the hype about how good the barbecue is in Batu lives up to its name. By the smell, we can already probably tell it's gonna be delicious. Let's go. Kulas, becoming Filipino. Yeah, okay. What's Explain up? me what's going on here. Okay, so basically there's a lot of barbecue stands. It's Batu Leiti. Uh, everything from fish to meat to chicken, which is meat too. But uh, you can just choose what you want, hand it to her, and they're gonna grill it over there on that wonderful grill. And then you eat it with the sour sour and like, you know, vinegar and soy sauce. And yeah, so, it's all pretty cheap. These sticks are 10 pesos. Uh, these big sticks, this is pork at 30 pesos. Wow, okay. Uh, the chicken drumstick, 35 pesos. So it's like affordable, like a dollar. Gizzard, liver, longaniza, isao, the intestines, chicken, manok. And this one here? Pork belly. Ah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can I order one pork? Chicken, sir. This is chicken? chicken? Yes, this is chicken? chicken? Then one chicken. Uh, one longaniza. One isao. And uh, we'll take one gizzard. One, one gizzard. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting freaky. You know what? I've never tried it, so I'll try it. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. Okay, there's a lot of choices, but we settled with longaniza, isao, chicken, and I've never had gizzard before. I've had liver. It's pretty good. Gizzard, I think, is the, the spot in a chicken or a bird in between the throat and the stomach that crushes up seeds before it goes and gets digested. I didn't even know you could eat it. But here it is. It doesn't exactly look appetizing, but maybe it'll taste better. We'll find out in a second. And so, smile. From, from where are you? From Canada. Okay. San Miguel beer. San Miguel beer. It's you very want good. One? I'll take a little bit. Yeah, I'll take some. One shot. One shot. The whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> really? Delicious, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Okay, listen to that sizzle. We have some longaniza. And this is uh, gizzard. We got chicken, some isao. Hold up some meat. Everyone, everybody hold up some meat. Everyone grab a fish or something. Hey Kumar, can you pass me your rice? You want another? Uh, <laughs> this is nice, Mike. Rice is nice. It's hard to open with one hand, man. What are you going on, Brett? Bro, look how moist that is. Delicious. Ooh. Wait, hold, hold. Spice. That's gonna be crazy spicy. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I know this is gonna be. I need some. Up first. Longaniza. I've actually. You have this for breakfast that's sometimes, chorizo. right? This is chorizo. It's. You have it for breakfast sometimes? Yeah. It's like candied sausage. It is. Absolutely delicious. Very similar to longanisa. Mm -hmm. mm. There's a string. Hey. Really, really nice. Quite sweet, actually, for me. But really, really tasty. Tastes like um, like a sausage you'd get. Like a greasy sausage with some sugar. This one I've had before is the famous isao, which is chicken intestine. Are you going to eat that? Oh, you're not. Oh. I've lived here for years. <laughs> Honestly, when I first had it, I didn't think I was gonna like it. That night, I was with Kumar. We had how many? How many did we have that night? More than ten, I think. Twelve. 
we had 12. So I know it's gonna be good. Again, intestines might not look good. They just taste like chicken, like crispy chicken. It's actually one of the most famous street foods here in the Philippines you can find it all across the country being grilled on grills like this. If it's cooked really well, it just tastes like chicken. So when I got this, Bit Bit said he might help me with it. What is that? What's gizzard? So a bird eats a lot of seeds, right? Seeds are hard. There's this like piece of his stomach that's before his stomach, that, I guess his esophagus, that breaks down the seeds. You hear me? Yeah. It's got a... Figure he's off. Oh. Alright, hold on. Ready? Hey, two, one. Kind of chewy. <laughs> kind of chewy. <laughs> Sorry, that's gross. It just tastes like fat. Like really hard fat. It doesn't taste like anything. No, the texture is the texture, like... The texture is like hard fat, yeah. But it doesn't taste like anything at all. Eh, on the gizzard. Isao though? Yeah. Chorizo? Yeah. Manok? Yeah. Rice? Gizzard? Rice? Yeah. Let's get some more. Hi. Can we get three more manok? One, what's this one? What's it called? Hot dog. One hot dog? One hot dog. And one of these. Yeah. Yes, the best. Yes, the best. Yes, yes. We got some manok. We got some hot dog. We got some manok, and we got some pork. I forget. All right. So here's how it works. You take a piece off of the stick. You dunk it in the sasaw one, which is soy sauce, calamansi, which is like a small lime, and chili peppers, and that goes in there. And you go. Wow. It's delicious, though. So. All right, guys. We crushed this table. Look at all this stuff. And the grand, the grand tally. Dude, 1,347, that is affordable. Which is what, how many US dollars? US dollars, you're looking at 26 dollars. For how many people to eat? Nine of us. <laughs> and we ate well. We did. That's incredible, look at this. We were all completely stuffed, all nine of us. Off 22 or so US dollars. I have to tell you guys. Not bad, not bad at all. The rain has stopped. People are now enjoying the town and the city center, and we're about to enjoy some ice cream before heading back to the hotel to start our adventures here in Leyte. Mike, have you tried the mango float? I have not. Are you getting one? That is like a traditional after uh, dinner kind of candy meal. You gotta try it. Mango float, very traditional. Staying healthy, boys. Yeah, no, this is a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I sorry, I <occurred>. heard. <laughs> no, uh, no, arti no artificial flavors or colors in that one. Yeah, I know. It's pure sugar. <laughs> yeah. Natural sugar. Two medium mango ice cream floats, please. Yeah, man. Hold it right there, hold it right there, and smile. Those look so good, Finn. So, mango ice cream, graham crackers, cream. And mango. And mango. Yeah. Mango ice cream. Mango My ice first ice ever cream. bite. I didn't even know this was a thing until tonight. And it's really good. Yeah. yeah you With cream on top, ice cream, bit of graham cracker crunch. This, my friends, is delicious. You missed the rest of the Fighter Boy vlogs. I would encourage you to check them out. Also, the guys, Finn, Dan, Bit Bit, Mr. Kulas himself, they're all linked below. Did you try it? I did. It's so really good. good. We've got to head out to our next adventure, but I'll catch you in the next one. Experience over possessions. Peace.